Major controversy surrounding the screening of Batman vs Superman, Star Wars Rogue One debuts their first trailer, and more. I'm Sai Soul Rebel, and this is Real Talk. Batman vs Superman recently debuted to a set of mixed reviews by critics and fans alike. As a fan of the comic and various incarnations of Batman fighting Superman for various reasons, I think the movie was awesome, with the exception of trying to understand Lex Luthor's motivation. Jesse Eisenberg seemed to be a scattered psychotic Lex Luthor instead of the arrogant fear mongering billionaire we are used to. Hmm, Bruce Wayne meets Clark Kent. I love it. I love bringing people. But with hints of him and the mysterious alien looking like a dark side emissary in the communion birthing scene suggests a Brainiac tie-in. <laughs> but we will have to wait and see when the uncut version comes to Blu-ray to get more context on the story that Snyder wanted to tell. I have been waiting for a graphic novel to be conveyed like it should be, which is graphic. I give it 4.5 out of 5 stars, leaving out that half star for the editing. I wish it wasn't as cut as it much, but we'll just have to wait. That is a three syllable word for any thought too big for little minds. Mere days after the release of The Force Awakens on Blu-ray, the first trailer for the new spin-off, Rogue One, has dropped. Yet, unlike all the other previous films, this one promises to show the Star Wars universe like we have never seen it before. So check it out. State your name for the record. Jin Erso. Forgery of imperial documents, possession of stolen property, aggravated assault, resisting arrest. On your own from the age of 15, reckless, aggressive, and undisciplined. This is a rebellion, isn't it? I rebel. We have a mission for you. A major weapons test is imminent. We need to know what it is and how to destroy it. Is that clear? Yes, sir. What will you do when they catch you? What will you do if they break you? If you continue to fight, what will you become? As you can see from the trailer, the story surrounds the Rebel Special Forces group led by none other than Felicity Jones, tasked with stealing the plans for the first Death Star and getting them to the hands of Princess Leia. This film promises to be a gritty war drama set in the Star Wars universe. So far, this has been an amazing transition into a new era of Star Wars, and we can't wait to see what they bring next. Speaking of next, we're going to speak with Nathan Smith, director of the Indie film, hear me. So here we are with Nathan Smith, the director of Hear Me, and this film won the best three minute film at the Revolution Film Festival. How was that experience? Oh, it was great, it was great. We had a, uh, we had a fun time road tripping down from Chattanooga all the way down to Lakeland, Florida. All right, well explain exactly what was the Revolution Film Festival. What's the setup behind it? Revolution Film Festival is sort of a, um, an event down at Southeastern University that ha happens once a year. And you go down there um, and there's all different kinds of films. They usually have sort of a redemptive value, sort of a, okay. you know, a very you know, deep personal cut to them, okay. um, a lot of the films. Um, it was a really great time. All right, and this, the film, 
hear me seems pretty personal. So can you give me some insight behind the inspiration for the film? Sure, sure. Um, I think one of the biggest things about Hear Me is it's a story that, you know, it doesn't matter if I'm telling it, if, you know, one of my, you know, my other uh, classmates is telling it, but it's, it's a story that cuts very personally to you. It'll cut to me. Um, it's the story of placing our, our perceptions of who other people are on mm -hmm. them and by so doing, um, really making making their identity something other than it is. Mm, yeah, and, I, and we see that a lot in society. We're basically uh, projecting mm. our own insecurities onto others. And I love the twist behind the mask. I'm gonna leave it there and let other people get the twist for themselves. And one more question for you today. Let me ask you, how was it putting that project together? What energies or ideals or how did it come together to form what it formed? Sure, it, it originally came together as part of what was called the 100 hour film race. And okay. The 100 hour film race um, is an international competition that happens wow. over four days. Um, you've got you know films from all over the world coming in, um, but basically they come up with a theme, a prop, and an action that you have to put in to the film. Okay. Um, just from the get go, and they only let you know about this like the day that it starts. Um, so all of our class got together and we, you know, huddled in the classroom and it came out and it was a mask, uh, drinking from a straw and, or I'm sorry, not a mask, uh, but the, the theme was, uh, mistaken identity. We oh, had to, I see. We had to drink from a straw. Okay. And, um, there were a number of other things that we had to, had to put in there. Okay. But essentially we, we stayed up for, you know, a few hours um, all of us sort of brainstorming as to what the story would be and, you know, getting our best creative things. We came up with tons of different ideas, you know, all right, all uh, right. an Uber driver who was going to go and murder someone. But, we, you know, we, <laughs> you know, funny, funny stuff like that. I got you. Yeah. But, but we wanted to come up with something that would cut to the heart of people, something that we could all relate to. Um, and by the end of the night, you know, all of us were pretty tired. Um, me um, and a number of other guys finally sat down and stayed up till three in the morning, wrote the script. The next day, um, you know, the very next day, we had our shot list. Um, we went out, we shot the, we shot the whole thing, all, all in right. one day. You know, it's 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 a pretty short thing. Okay. You know, okay. Tops of three minutes or so. Gotcha. Um, but then, you know, we went into post and then submitted all within a four-day period of time, um, and that didn't end up getting to the top twenty. There were a lot of really great submissions to, okay. the, to okay. the film race, but we ended up. Uh, submitting it to Southeastern's um, Revolution Film Festival, and they really loved it. And so we all went down there, or rather, four of us went down there. It was a little bit of a little bit of a trek for all gotcha, of us. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, but we had a really great time, and they loved the film, and we got an award for it, which is huge for us, you know, as, mm -hmm, a, mm -hmm. as a as a group of students to to do something like that. That's awesome. Well, thanks for having us. Let me give you a high five on that award. We don't do handshakes here. Thank you, and thanks again. And this is our outro. And with that, we're out of time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel below. Also, check us out on our Facebook and Twitter pages with Nerd Fanatic Media. I'm Saeed, and that is it for this session of Real Talk.